It's um, a trip to the seaside in uh, the summer of 1960. Ooh. Well, it might be nostalgic if you're a pensioner. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was actually written by a guy called Robert Cox, um, who was better known as uh, Doc Cox on the Esther Ranchin show, That's Life. So, if, if you remember that, you're in with a fighting chance. <laughs> and if you don't remember that, uh, best of luck. <laughs> On Mapper North Knox, you'll find Wixop, where we live when our old lad. In an house with me mum, two sisters, me gran, one brother, a budgie, and dad. <laughs> End of our street were a boozer. Black as scout, uninviting Uncle Lum. Den of depravity, stamp like a lavachy. <laughs> Where me dad used to hide from me mum. <laughs> End of the bar, in a bottle. Every week, half a dollar it'd slip. For annual treat, when kids off our street went to coast on a Sharaman trip. Mm -hmm. We'd set off in the morning from Wixop. En route for Sutton on Sea. <laughs> we holiday club, them as pen up the subs. <laughs> Half the street of me brother and me. There was old Mrs. Bruff from Tribe Shop. <laughs> Big soft goddess and her two little lasses. And her sister Ellen, we a bust like two melons. <laughs> and, and a face like an arsehole with glasses. <laughs> there was desperate Derek, his brother, Big Eric, Basher, Nasher and Butch. There were Lil who were willing for only a shilling. <laughs> that were about tenpence too much. <laughs> there was Mavis who wouldn't, cos her mum said she shouldn't. And Neville who wished that she could. And then there was Heather who said that she'd never but. Look well, like she probably would. <laughs> Me dad took two crates of ale with him, intended to travel in style. Sharabank did about mm. 20 to Ellen. Me dad did half pint to the mine. <laughs> they were chucking it down, leaving works up. Through North Knox, it did not exist. There were cows with bronchitis. <laughs> Went sheep to invite us as Lincolnshire loomed through the mist. Rain slackened off soon to a medium monsoon. <laughs> they didn't look such a blacken. Then driver called Reg, pulled up by an edge and we all made a break for the bracken. <laughs> Me dad dived for the tree saying, here, excuse me. Right there, one penny he spent it. He says, ain't it queer? That's thing about beer. I don't really buy it, just rent it. <laughs> <laughs> now this idyllic scene mixed nettles and steam. Got that was then torn by my brother's plaintive cry. Poor little nipper caught his dog in his zipper and went dancing with tears in his eye. <laughs> then back on bus. Off to Sutton we got there. Be you were grand. Staring at sea. Cold. A colour of tea. <laughs> Smelling candy floss, dodgems and sand. My brother met straight for the ocean. His intention the water to reach. For he just put his foot in some disgusting donkey had left on the beach. <laughs> See, he were as cowed as a polar bear's dick. He watched Punch kill the crocodile dead. Then after throwing sand at Salvation Bam, we all went to Funfair instead. There was this ride called Comet. Made you scream, faint and vomit. <laughs> Half deafened, you'd hang upside down. Last bit was spinner. Brought up rest of your dinner. Not bad for just half a crown. <laughs> <laughs> there was cards with fat ladies. Nudists and Scotsmen. Honeymooners and dirty weekenders. And in this machine, 
what the butler had seen dimly flickered about in suspenders. <laughs> <laughs> then we all went to dodgeums of Walser. Big Dipper, with its rises and falls. But on this machine, that my brother turned green, his eyes stood out like bulldog's balls. <laughs> <laughs> Poor little chap. He was sick in his cap. It was a new one, and he started to cry. So, rather than spoil it, we swilled it in toilet and he wore it until it would dry. <laughs> Then coach driver found us back on the bus. <laughs> Through the dark we ran the whole way. Candy floss in her hair, but we didn't care. We had such a wonderful day. Sharabank were firing on several cylinders <laughs> as we started for works up on home. Rattling along highway, singing songs of Max Bygraves, <laughs> accompanied on paper and coal. <laughs> in a dim orange glow, of the coach lights so low, courting couples were billing and cooing, <laughs> hoping perhaps that the coats on their laps would conceal the rude things they were doing. <laughs> <laughs> we got back to the street about half past eleven, to me mum and me granny and all. They gazed with admiration at plastic Alsatian had won for them on coconut stall. <laughs> I ate up my sandwich, drank up my cocoa, soon up in bed I was curled, dreaming a dream about leading a team on a shaman trip round the world. <laughs> hey, things that we did. When I was a kid, although they were simple and small, now I'm grown up, I find I'm back in my mind. I'm sure that it was best times of all. <laughs> I've been to Majorca. <laughs> ah, that's a corker. Pompey and Ericulanamian. French Riviera. Hmm? Well, ladies and bearer. I've even paddled in Mediterranean. I've drunk various vinos and torremolinos. But of all these, I'll tell thee for free. There's none can compete with that shaman treat with me brother. The Sultan of Sea. Yeah. Yeah.